Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life Rant. What I decided I'm going to talk today about is kind of a, a hybrid talk. We'll see where it goes. Um, but it's going to be about creativity and opportunity and how the thing that you thought you wanted and the thing that you thought you needed in your life maybe didn't happen for the right thing to come to you in the time that it was needed, right? And so many times in life, we operate from a space of thinking that this is the way that it was supposed to happen. This is the job I was supposed to have. This is the property I was supposed to get. This was the property. This was, I I can't believe we missed out on this property. I can't believe I didn't get that promotion. I can't believe that girl didn't take my number down. And what you're doing is you're forcing yourself up against a wall in a life of absolutes. And absolutes will destroy your happiness because you're creating expectations on that's the only way that that was supposed to be. And it's how expectations are broken, hurt who we are inside. And then the emotion behind that is really what takes us down. And so, if you operate from a space of the core values of who you are as a person and every day, these are the things that I can get done today that I'm in control of and I don't control anything else, but I'm putting out the good vibes in the universe and I'm understanding that the universe has a plan for me. This world has a plan for you. and you know, I'll use myself as a context. You know, a lot of the times I've been upset in the past is because the expectations that I put on a job or something that I've been looking for, oh my God, this is my one opportunity. This is the one business that's going to change my life. And that wound up not being the case because I was too fixated on the results, right? The results of what I was going to get out of it instead of falling in love with the process of what was needed every day, day in and day out of the business to make a better business. And when you're in the fray, when you're in the scaling of the business or you're in this moment where you've done seven interviews to get this job that you wanted and it didn't come through, all you can think of is the pain. And not understanding that maybe they universe is clearing the deck for you for the true gift that you were born to have placed in front of you. But if those things weren't cleared out of your way, then you wouldn't even be available to accept it. And I know a lot of what I'm talking about might be a little woo woo for y'all, but I'm letting you know that everything is happening for us. And what I mean by that is how could you know that me losing a job that I waited three months for would allow me to step into my own light, to my own power, to really take my businesses by the reins instead of working for somebody else? Didn't know that. How did I know that the call I wasn't supposed to be on, that I got asked to be on 15 minutes before uh, because the speaker quit, how did I know that I was going to meet my future girlfriend on that call, right? How did I know that she would be the one receiving the message and we would meet up for coffee the next day? I didn't know those things. And she in turn has made my life 30 times better, right? But if I wouldn't have said yes, If I wouldn't have stepped into that and just provided value instead of 
learning and seeking what I was going to get out of it because there was nothing out of it for me. I'm not getting paid for it. And that would have never happened. But everything has a plan. And we're so quick to smash the opportunity. Well, this is the only thing I should do. This is the only reason I should do. This is the only way it has to be. When really what the universe is doing is it's clearing the deck because you as a person are not capable of doing it yourself, right? And you have to make sure that you are available for it, right? And so what, they're, what it's doing is it's allowing you to see something that you didn't even know was available to you. And so by not putting expectations on it, by not setting your expectations of what you think should happen, what you deem as the only way it needs to go down, you're allowing yourself to operate in a space of freedom. And when you operate from a space of freedom and you're just doing the things daily and day out, what you can control, then you can rest your head on the pillow at night and know that you've done everything necessary to step into the light and the power that you were gifted. And so, you know, failure, right? That's what everybody's scared about. That's what everybody's protecting against can also be a great teacher. And the only reason that it continues to be failure is if you don't learn from it. And so every negative thing that's happened to me, every bad decision I've learned and I've got better and we've got a long way to go and a long road to go and there's still going to be more failure. But I know that every day I'm going to control what I can control and it doesn't matter who the president is. It doesn't matter what the weather is outside. It doesn't matter what month it is. I get up. And I execute day in and day out on who I am as a person. And I'm not perfect every day and I don't want to do it every day. But I haven't put expectations on the end result. All I've done is show up. And when you show up, there's a possibility. That's my favorite word in the entire world. What if? What if it was all positive? instead of all the negative things that you created in your head? What if it was the one meeting that because you didn't get that job and you were there, that you got to meet your future partner or your future boss or your future investment property, but we're too busy playing in the past on what we lost or didn't get instead of showing up to show up. And when you show up, and you're available for the moment, then you're ready to take it. And it's only when we've let go of what should have been, could have been, would have been, because those words are not going to get you anywhere. That is negative self-talk, and it's living in the past. It don't do anything for anybody. But when you release the burden off of that, and you're available for the opportunity, it will present itself. But if you're too concerned about what should have been or what could have been, then you're going to miss the opportunity that is present in front of you right today. So I hope everybody got some value from that. I just appreciate everybody so much, and y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.